Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is the Skelet. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, it looks like a Skelectric. It smells like a Skelectric. It feels like a Skelectric. Why on earth does it say Super Slot on there? Oh, is this a cloned fake version of a Skelectric car? Oh, that's a first for the channel. Look, even the cases look identical. Look, that's the genuine Skelectric one here. And there's the fake, and it says Super Slot, and they look identical. And the quality looks exactly the same. No. I'm kidding. It's not a fake. This is a legitimate brand Super Slot, and the reason why it looks identical to Skelectric is because technically it is Skelectric. So my question is, why? Well, I did my little research and I found this out. In Spain, Hornby Skelectric is marketed under the brand name of Super Slot, as the Skelectric brand is owned over there by Scale Competition Extreme, whose products are sold internationally under the name SCX. Now I've seen those letters before. And it doesn't stop there. I also found out, well I read, I don't know how true this is, that Hornby Scalextric sell their cars as super slot in Spain because they're not allowed to use the name Scalextric in Spain. What? That, that, I don't under, I, but then again it also says Hornby Italia SR, you know what, I give up. <laughs> All that matters, as far as I'm concerned, this is Scalextric, right even though it's a super slot, so it's really super slot, which is a br- forget it. Right, now, this is the super slot Porsche, or Porsche, 911 Carrera RSR 3.0 in my favorite livery, the Gulf Edition. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the Gulf livery, apart from the BWT one, is one of my most favorite liveries ever. So simple, yet so gorgeous and effective. Come on, how could you not love the Gulf livery? And especially on this old school shaped Porsche. It's gorgeous, loving that huge orange strip right across the bonnet, the hood, uh, across the top, very nice. Now, here's one for you. When is a rear wing not a rear wing? Well, when it's a spoiler. Loving the sparse livery that you have here. There's not much on there at all. Like the previous Gulf car that I did just had Gulf on it. It had nothing else. It was like it was a showroom model. Whereas this one is a specific racing car with livery on there and a number. You're gonna get some other brands on there too. But again, it's very minimal. I like it. Now look at those wheels. How beautiful are they? And here we have the front of the vehicle. Again, loving the simplicity. Now straight away you can tell this is not gonna have any headlights. However, if you look at the rear, absolutely loving what we've got going on here. You can see the Porsche right along the back where the lights would be. So. I wonder if that whole section will light up or will it be just on these outer sections right here? I don't know. We'll soon find out. Loving the uh, little exhaust pipes, the twin exhaust pipes you've got there. Let's get back to the front because I have just noticed and if this isn't testimony that I only look at these for the first time when you're watching along. <laughs> um, look, you see we've got the little hood pins there and they're not just printed on, they're actually raised up so that they look like real hood pins. Nice. And then we get to the almost ninja looking, mysterious looking driver. You've got the steering wheel there and I love that the driver's dressed all in black. So it does look really mysterious, almost as if he's not even in there. <laughs> and here look, loving the tiny bits of livery there too. 
and from what I can see, it is beautifully built too. I see no errors, I see no deformed bits, it looks perfect. I can see this getting a 10 out of 10 already on the looks and the build quality of this. Right, let's have a quick look underneath. Looks very neat and yes, love it. It's an inline motor, you can tell because it's got the gear there, but I'll pop it in the garage in a moment so you can see inside properly. Absolutely love that it's got the cutout of the, f I was gonna say Ford heresy. <clears throat> Absolutely love that it's got the cutout of the Porsche logo right there. And look, it says Hornby Hobbies. There's your little door so you can put a digital chip in and it's still made in China. Oh, and these wheels, come on, look how nice and fat these rear wheels are compared to the front ones. Just waiting for the elevator again. <laughs> Here we go, we are in the garage. Let's take a look under the hood, as it were. Loving this. Now this looks slightly different to what I'm used to, purely because if you can see there, I'm loving that the front bumper remains part of the chassis when you take the top off. Now naturally, you can actually remove that from the chassis itself, but there's no need when I'm just gonna show you the internals. Oh look, and there look, I've never pointed this out, but I'm sure you've seen it in the past. Um, right there, you see that little, there's a little white plug just there. That's the bit that you connect your chip to when you open the door underneath to put your digital chip in. Nice. <laughs> and you've got the other side of your guide and your braids there. And right here will be your rear lights on that long circuit board there, look. And I thought I'd just show you the shell on the inside, as you can see there. You can just see the driver's arms and the steering wheel. No legs! Wait a minute, why are you climbing up the side of this light tower? Magnetic Racing has supplied a perfectly good ladder inside the tower. Get down! Yeah. 